fish there. That's close. Hello friends. All fingers are left. Yes, all fingers. Uh, some right, some left. And it's Friday 13th. So we have to be extra careful. <laughs> this is for the bearings on the mast. Now they go go into the lace. Hello friends. This is the top bearing of the missing mast. It's gonna hang in it. That's what's this uh, fence on it. That is my lace is really so small for this. It is only, yours are only gripping on seven millimeter and it's 120 long. So I have to do very, very small cuts many times. So this is a bit time consuming, but good thing that I can do it. Hope it will work all to the end. Hello friends. So the most older was Conical. So the bottom part has to be smaller diameter. And you see the edge is very thin, maybe two three millimeter. So the use will put too much pressure on it. I'm afraid it will break. And really this is too big piece to put in my little lace. So now most of us are done and the rest I will do with the hole so. Well, it's done. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. So, it's a solution. And the upper part, hopefully, will be more easy. Hello again. So, the final thing, I didn't dare to take any lace. I did it here. But it's very dangerous work. And I remember my thumb, so I have to be careful. And uh, I secure it well with clamps. And tightening on this one, and tightening on that one. And everyone is taken, and I reduce the speed of my nearly 100 year old drill press. Well, I was lucky. It just fits perfectly. Very good. So, I'm pleased. And up here, somewhere it's going to be. This one is going to be on the bottom. This one is going to be on top. I still have a bit left over. So, very good. Hello friends. Now, I've been working on the lace, doing these things. <laughs> been all thing. And 
this bottom one is going to be here and it's going to be five centimeter above the bottom of here for the antenna inside here is going to be an antenna an antenna and the whole thing is going to be hanging Next port is going to be there, and a very good thing on here. I'm going to put cleats on for the hard yard and down hard and all these things. So it's going to be a good thing. I will really thank Peter. He got some excellent here for helping me about this. How to get box into here? And then here I'm going to spaces that it gets into the center so okay <coughs> thank you very much friends hello friends i will inject from the other side at first i got the bottom to this so second epoxy will go around here that makes it waterproof So now that's just done. And after the second epoxy, I wetted it down just to make sure it's waterproof. Here it is. Yesterday, I sealed the bottom back down here. You can see it now it's sealed, it's no leaks. And today I poured in a box here. So now this space between is all filled. It's a perfect fit. No one could have done it better than nature. So good thing. And now there's a few more of this to do. This is the easiest one, the other one will be more difficult. Hello friends, this is Irwin. And this is about the ropes for the hats. I intend to use eight millimeter rope to secure it. 8 millimeter rope has a breaking strength of 1.8 kilo. The boat fully loaded is 1.2 tons. And like a little while ago, in August, it was 434 kilos. So, and it's two of these ropes, one in the back and the one in the front. Now, it's highly unlikely that a rope like this will break. Also have this rope to secure it with. Like going up here, like I showed before, in strong winds. So even without that, you know, no way they can break.